Matthew Purdy, the Birmingham Barons, with another edition of Get to Know. Our guest today is Barons catcher Miguel Gonzalez. Miguel, thanks for sitting down and talking with us for a couple minutes. Miguel, now you are a native of Venezuela, a very baseball-rich uh, country. Just to name a couple of guys, a future Hall of Famer, Omar Vizquel and uh, current star Miguel Cabrera. How was baseball for you growing up in Venezuela? And explain the culture of it there. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. We got, like, too much crowds there. It's different intensity. It's, like, it's more like you have to play hard every time, like like we play here. And the people are, are different. The baseball is, is more, like, more quiet, more, more easy. There is, like, more screaming people. You know, it's, it's kind of different a little bit. Kind of like a rowdy football game here in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we play, like, I mean, I don't have, like, off-season. I just play here, finish here, and I go into Venezuela and have to play there with the Tiburones de la Guaira team. And uh, it's kind of fun, man. I like playing all year, and I enjoy that. Was there anyone growing up, Miguel, that you idolized as playing the big leagues now from Venezuela? I mean, we play we play a lot of guys, like, it's in the big leagues, but last year I played with the Salvador Perez, Kansas City catcher, and... Uh, Hector Sanchez, San Francisco Giants catcher, and they teach me a lot. I learned a lot about them, yeah. How about your time here in America since you've been with the White Sox organization? You signed with the White Sox as a free agent in 2008. How has your time been here since you started playing pro ball in America? Yeah, I signed in 2008 and, uh, with the White Sox, and I went to Dominican Republic in 2008. I played two months there. The next year I come to a spring training, and, like, Four years ago, and I played Bristol, Canapolis, Winston, and here it's, it's a great experience. I mean, I love playing here, and I like to play hard and all those. Now let's talk about the party, man. You guys clinched the first half of North Division uh, about a week and a half ago. How was it to uh, party hardy in that locker room and get spray uh, beverages everywhere? I mean, I was so excited. I was so excited. I was drinking. A lot of was throwing beers and champagnes everywhere, and everybody had fun. Like, that's what you got when you work hard. You guys have definitely earned it. You played great. Speaking of playing great, you and Mike Blank, uh, the other catcher for the Barons, you guys combined on the year, seven homers, 43 runs batted in, 68 hits on the year. You guys have really been one of the best catching combinations in the Southern League. Talk about how well you and Mike get along and the chemistry you guys have. Yeah, we, we're always talking about those games. We, we talk to each other like, like how we're gonna try with the pitcher strength, how we're gonna pitch, like those guys, different things. And it's kind of like, like you have to change everything, every series, you have to know how you're gonna pitch every hitter the same. That's what, that's what we success. And the pitchers, just, just trying to keep the ball down and make those pitchers, and that, that's what we're working at. Now entering this season, Baseball America ranked you as the best defensive catcher in the White Sox organization. Who do you credit for the hard work you, you've uh, put in on defense? I mean, I, I credit uh, J.O., he's a catcher's coach. He been teach me, I mean, all I know about catching, he teach me like 2008 when I was 17. He been working with me hard and that's where that's where we were working. Miguel, thanks for your time. Really appreciate you guys doing a great job. You have the hard work and hopefully suddenly championships on the way. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you.